configure extended access list as scenario one. Addressing table R1 with three interfaces, you got to be 0, and 0, 2. You got to be 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 2. One server, two PCs. One server, two PCs. Configure and apply and verify an extended numbered access list. Configure an access list to permit FTP and ICMP from PC1 LAN. Okay, this is PC1 LAN. On R1, click on R1. Enter. Um, global configuration mode. Enable configure terminal. This is global configuration mode. Access list question mark. Access dash list question mark. And now you can see the range of access list. For a standard access list, the range is from 1 to 99 and from 1300 to 1999. And for extended access list, the range is from 100 to 199 and from 2000 2699 100 and just 100 uh, and will be in the range of extended access list okay and also question mark okay question mark and you have options. Deny, permit, and remark. Deny is uh, reject packets, permit forward packets, and remark is uh, only a comment, only a label. Permit FTP traffic, okay, and permit and question mark. Permit and question mark. Now you can use the protocol. You can specify the protocol. In this case, uh, any of these protocols. IP will include all protocols. TCP for transmission control protocol and UDP for user datagram protocol. Okay. Um, this access list should permit FTP and ICMP. ICMP is listed above, but FTP is not. This is because FTP is an application layer protocol that uses TCP at the transport layer. Okay, so use TCP. TCP, the transport layer protocol of FTP. Okay, TCP. Okay, ICMP listed and for FTP use TCP. And question mark. The source address, the keyword any or the keyword host. Any for any source host for a single host is the source and the source address, the IP. The source address can represent a single device, such as PC1, by using host keyword and then the IP address of PC1. Using the keyword any permits any host on any network. Filtering can also be done by a network address. In this case, it is any host that has an address belonging to the 172.22.34.64.27 prefix network. Enter this network address, followed by question mark. 
Okay, at the this subnet. One seventy two twenty two thirty two sixty four. This will be the source. One seventy two twenty two thirty four sixty four will be the source. Remember, configure to permit FTP and ICMP from PC1 LAN. This is PC1 LAN, so this is the subnet 172.22.34.64 prefix 27. Okay, so use this subnet 172.22.34.64. And question mark. The source wildcard. Calculate the wildcard mass by determining the binary opposite of 27. Okay. 27 is the prefix and in decimal is 255, 255, 255, 224. And binary is uh, 27 ones. 8, 16, 24, 25, 26, 27 ones and five zeros. Okay, the inverse in binary is this 27, 27 zeros and five ones. And remember, 224 plus 31 is 255. This is another way to get the wildcard mask. 224 plus 31 is 255. Enter wildcard mask 000 31. Question mark. Now, the destination address or use any keyword okay, equal match only packets on a given port number greater than match match, match only packets with the, a greater port number host a single destination host ld match only packets with a lower port number okay lower than no equal match only packets not on a given port number and range match only packets in the range of port numbers. Configure the destination address. Okay, we are filtering traffic for a single destination, which is the server. Okay, this is the source, this subnet, and the destination is the server. Not the subnet, only the host, only the server. I repeat, the source is the subnet, 172.22.34.64 subnet, and the destination is only a host, the server, 172.22.34.62. Okay, so use the host keyword and the IP address of the server. Okay, host 172.22.34.64. 62. Okay, this is the access list extended 100 permit protocol TCP. Uh, the source is the subnet and the destination is a host. Question mark. Okay. DSCP match packets with given DSCP value equal match only packets on a given port number established is established method greater than match only packets with a greater port number lower than match only packets with a lower port number no equal not it not equal match only packets not on a given port number precedence match packets with given precedence value and range match only packets in the range of port numbers and you can uh, use enter 
Notice that one of the options is uh, CR, garage return. In other words, you can press enter and the statement will permit all TCP traffic. However, we are only permitting FTP traffic. Therefore, enter the equal keyword followed by a question mark. Okay, equal, I will use this option, equal, equal, and question mark. Okay, and you need to specify the port number or you can use the, the name of the port. For port 21, the name is FTP, 110, port 3, 25 for SMTP, Simple Mail Transport Protocol, 23 for Telnet, and 80 for HTTP, Triple W, World Wide Web. Okay, in this case is FTP, FTP. Okay, permit TCP protocol from this subnet, 172.22.34.64, this subnet, and the destination is the host, the server, this server. And on the server side, the port is equal to 21 FTP. Okay, on the server side, the port on layer 4 on, on transport layer, the destination port is FTP 21. Okay, and the uh, source can use any, any port because port is not specified on the source. The source port can be any using TCP protocol and the destination will use the port 21 FTP 21 FTP Enter Create a second access list statement to permit ICMP ping from PC1 to the server Note that the access list number remains the same. And a specific type of ICMP traffic does not need to be specified. Okay, use the same number of the access list. Access dash list 100. The same access list. Okay, this uh, new entry will be placed on the same access list 100 and permit ping ICMP protocol. And the source is the same source, the same subnet 172, 22, 34, 64, and wildcard 000, 31. Okay, and the destination is also the server, the same host. Host 172, 22, 34, 62. And it's not necessary to specify more options. Enter. All other traffic is denied by default. Okay, and remember that at the end of these two access control entries, at the end of these two lines, there is an, at the end, an implicit deny any any. Show access list and show access dash list. Okay, two lines. Notice that the statement deny any any does not appear at the end of the access list. The default execution of an access list is that if a packet does not match a statement in the access list, it is not permitted through the interface. Okay, 
At the end, there is um, deny any, any entry. Apply access list on the correct interface to filter traffic. Okay, I will draw the path from the source to the destination. Okay, this is the source and the server is the destination. The, su the source is a subnet and the destination is the server. Now, you can apply the access list on gigabit 00, zero incoming traffic on R1 or you can apply the access list on gigabit 02 on R1 outgoing traffic. The best practice for an extended access list is to place the access list close to the source. Okay, and if this is the source, you will apply the access list on this port, gigabit 00, zero incoming traffic. You can see the arrow incoming traffic on gigabit 00, zero on R1. Okay, so that is why gigabit 00, zero incoming traffic in the traffic that Access control list 100 applies to, is inbound from the network connected to the gigabit 00 interface. Okay, and do this. Configure terminal interface gigabit 00, IP access dash group, sorry, dash group 100. This is the number of the access list 100 incoming traffic, enter and verify. Remember, access list says PC1 is permitted to ping the server and also permitted PC1 is permitted to access FTP on the server. Okay, first ping from PC1 to the server. Go to desktop, common prompt. Ping. IP address of the server 172, 22, 34, 64, uh, sorry, 62. Enter. Success. This is okay. FTP from PC1 to the server. Okay, and now use the same. Uh, Use the same IP address because it's the same server and use the FTP application. Enter. Username Cisco, password Cisco. Success. FTP protocol, FTP application. Exit the FTP service. Okay. Username and password are both Cisco. Okay. Exit the FTP service. Quit. Enter, okay. And very good. PC1 can ping server and also use FTP. From PC1 to PC2, ping from PC1 to PC2. Ping from PC1, ping IP address of PC2. IP address of PC2 is 172.22.34.98. 172.22.34.98 Enter Destination host unreachable Okay, this is expected, this is okay because the access list is configured on gigabit 00 on R1 and only permit PC1 to access the server using ICMP and FTP No more, any other is denied The destination host should be Unreachable. PC1 destination host unreachable. Very good. Configure and apply and verify an extended name and access list. Configure an access list to permit HTTP access and ICMP from PC2 LAN. This is the PC2 LAN. 
Okay, on R1. Okay. Name it access list start with the IP keyword. Okay, and exit on global configuration mode. IP access list. Okay, IP is the requirement for a name it access list. And question mark. Okay, you can specify if it's standard or is standard. Okay, you need to specify the type of access list because you will not use a number. You will use a name. Okay, and specify that is extended. Extended. Okay. You can configure name it a standard and a standard access list. Enter HTTP underscore only is the name. Okay. Extend that space and the name of the access list HTTP underscore only. And now you are in the extended name and access control list. Extended name and access control list configuration mode. You are in you are now in extended name and access control list configuration mode. All devices on PC2 LAN need TCP access. Okay, permit protocol TCP. Permit TCP protocol. Okay, uh, because HTTP uses TCP at layer 4, at transport layer. And the subnet of PC2. This is the subnet of PC2 172.22.34.96. Okay. 172.22.34.96. Okay. This is the uh, source. Space. Question mark. Now you, you need to uh, add the source wildcard. Okay. The prefix is 28. 28 in decimal is 255, 255, 255, 240. And you can calculate a wildcard. 255, 255, 255, 255, minus 255, 255, 255, 240 is 0, 0, 0, 15. Okay? 15 plus 240 is 255. Very good. Okay, and at the wildcard, 00015. Okay, and the destination host, host the IP address of the server, 172.22.34.62. And equal triple W, equal triple W. Okay, remember, permit TCP protocol, from this uh, subnet, this is the source, this subnet is the source, to the destination, the server IP address, host and the server IP address, to the destination, server IP address. And on the destination side, on the server side, the port is port 80. Triple W is, po is uh, port 80, HTTP port, okay, enter. Okay, the port on the source is not specified, so you can use any TCP port on the source. But on the destination, the port is specified to port 80. Create a second access list statement to permit ICMP from PC2 to the server. Remember, you are still in extended name it access control list configuration mode and permit the protocol now is ICMP ICMP the source is the same the same subnet 172 22 34 96 same wildcard mask the same destination is the host the server and 
it's not necessary to specify another option. Enter. All other traffic is denied by default. Remember, at the end of this uh, of these two lines, there are uh, there is a implicit deny any any entry. Verify show access list and show access dash list. Now you can see access list uh, number one hundred and name at access list HTTP only. Okay, also you can see the matches um, for the test on um, the previous access list. Apply the access list on the correct interface to filter traffic. Okay, I will draw the path from the source to the destination. From the source to the destination. Okay, this is the source a subnet and the destination is the server okay and you need to place uh, the access list on r1 but close to the source and this is close to the source because you can apply the access list on gigabit 02 outgoing traffic on gigabit 02 or you can apply the access list on gigabit 01 uh, incoming traffic but it's better to use the best practice for extended access list and place the extended access list close to the source and this is close to the source because this is the source on gigabit 01 incoming traffic okay gigabit 01 incoming traffic in Okay, R1, configure terminal interface, gigabit here one. IP access dash group. The name of the access list, HTTP underscore only, case sensitive, HTTP, HTTP underscore only, in incoming traffic, enter. Verify. Ping from PC2 to the server, go to PC2. Ping to the server, ping 172, 22, 34, 62. Success. Access list, permit the ping. Very good. From PC2, open web browser. Okay, go to web browser and enter the IP address of the server. 172.22.34.62. Enter. Very good. HTTP is permitted. Now, FTP from PC2 to the server. Okay. Use the same IP address because it's the same server, but use FTP application. Enter. Trying to connect. Okay, trying to connect and disconnect it from FTP server. Okay, FTP and uh, timeout, FTP is not permitted by the access list. Okay, very good. 100%, thank you very much.